I'm Dave Scott. I'm standing here in my backyard and there is snow right here. The sun is out, thank goodness. And I'd just like to introduce an element with S-Fuels and a series of a lot of videos and hopefully very informative videos that I'm going to be sharing with you uh, over this next year. And this first one is I want you to keep in mind when we talk about low carb, high fat, which I'll define in just a second, or nutritional ketosis, it really means that this low carb, high fat is really a lifestyle change. And one of the positions with S Fuels is not just to have something before exercise or during exercise or afterwards, but really accommodating the whole day, which I'll talk about in another video. So when we talk about low carb, high fat, or nutritional ketosis, it's really a lifestyle change. And I think, well, why do we want to do that? Uh, for a long time, I had talked about carbohydrates. And if we look at the uh, inflammation that occurs with carbohydrates. I want to just talk about inflammation that we all recognize. Arthritis, anything that ends in ITS, bursitis, bronchitis, coliitis, those are all inflammation. But we also have systemic inflammation and that systemic inflammation that really affects our organ function our, and part of our organs are our skeletal muscle, that's our biggest organ. That's affected by an excessive amount of carbohydrates. So with S-Fuels and, and a low carb, high fat, or nutritional ketosis, we're gonna to try to reduce some of that systemic inflammation and really affect, positively affect, your organ function and also your performance parameters. And when we shift from carbohydrates to a higher healthy fat, we begin to oxidize fats at a faster rate. And this causes less inflammation. One of the areas that we first think about is, gee, my stomach is upset. I've got GI issues because I ate a whole bucket of bagels the other day and now my stomach is, feels like it's going to explode, that's a form of inflammation. And we're very familiar with that. A lot of you have had GI distress. So let's talk about specifics. Low carb, high fat is around 20% of your calories in total carbohydrates. And that means they're good carbohydrates. And I'm going to cover this in the next video. But healthy choices of carbohydrates, it's not zero. Typically when we look at low carbohydrate, high fat, and the high fat is high healthy fat not fats that are heated, trans fats. So saturated fats in their normal natural state are very, very good for you. And again, we'll cover this in the next video. So low carb is around 20%. The fat element in a low carb, high fat is around 60 to 75%. And the protein is anywhere between about 12% up to 20 plus percent, depending on your lean body mass and your exercise intensity. We talk about ketosis. We're looking at an even lower carbohydrate, but still good healthy carbohydrates and a high healthy fat, typically around 75%. If you think about it in grams, and one of the things that we're gonna cover with S-Fuels is the number of grams and how do you get the grams and, and what does that really mean? I'm just gonna give you a number right now. So the high fat percentage, let's not worry about that. Let's worry about taking lower carbs, the carbs that we're taking is really net carbs, less the fiber amount. And the less carbs is around 50 grams. If you're in ketosis, typically you need to be between 25 to about 35 to start with, and then you can move that up. So for athletes like all of you, when we talk about low carb, high fat, once you've made this fat oxidation transition, you can be taken in somewhere between 50, sometimes up to 150 grams of healthy carbohydrates. So keep that in mind, and I think the advantage is that we're gonna reduce a lot of the inflammation, we're gonna reduce the ups and downs by spiking our insulin, or, and our insulin's gonna affect our blood sugar levels by pumping up our glucose levels. We're gonna have a steady state of energy, and one of the things that is provided is that our brain needs glucose or ketone bodies, and one of the nice things about being in ketosis, which again is low, low carbohydrate, is that you're actually fueling your brain and your organs. When we're in low carb, high fat, just like nutritional ketosis, we can oxidize fats at a, at a fast rate, but your body still is reliant on blood sugar or blood glucose, a little bit, and healthy choices. So anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that begins to help define low carb, high fat, and nutritional ketosis. And I'm Dave Scott for S-Fuels. I'll be back real soon with some more definitive direction on how to make the transition.